Have you ever wondered how exactly you respond to comments on a Facebook or Instagram ad? You see those ads all the time that have a slew of comments, negative comments about the advertisement, and you wonder, why aren't they deleting those comments? Well, Meta does not make it very easy to go in and check these comments. You actually have to go through Ads Manager to go and respond to each and every one of these comments. I'm gonna dive in now to show you how I'm doing it while I'm living in Ads Manager. So check this out. So when I go into my ads manager, I'm in the campaign view right here. You're gonna to wanna to go over to the ad view, okay? Once you're into the ads, then you can grab the actual ad that you wanna look at and see the comments on. So we're just gonna grab this one here. I'm gonna hit on this button here, which is preview creative. Yep, that's the one. And then once I scroll down here, I'm gonna see C post, Facebook post of comments or Instagram post with comments. So I'll just go into Facebook post with comments. This right here is gonna pull it up. And there's the ad, a fresh website for less than your daily coffee. This is our a sister agency or a partner agency that we work with, Blaze Boost. Um, they're selling cheap websites. Uh, so $3 a day, you can get a pro website, fantastic. We're getting comments though. And these are important. It's important to monitor comments because imagine you're spending hundreds of dollars on an ad. Heck spending even tens of dollars on an ad. It doesn't matter. If you're spending money on an ad and somebody goes to look at the comments and all it is is a bunch of negative feedback about the ad or about your business, you have to address that or else you're just wasting your money on that ad. People are going to see those comments and immediately go on to the next piece of content. Okay. So when you're looking at the actual ad, you just go down to the comment section and here you go. You can see all the comments that were laid on this specific ad. Somebody asked a question, how many days at $3 a day? Forever, depending on your needs, feel free to schedule a call to learn more. Perfect. Scam? Huh, not a scam. Happy to have a call so you can further understand the offer. These type of comments are happening all of the time. Let's pick on another ad here. Okay, this one generated 11 leads. Okay, let's just go here. We'll go here, boom. And we'll just hit this here so we can see posts, see Facebook posts with comments. This was a pretty engaging one. It got a lot of engagement and naturally an ad like this is going to get negative engagement, right? So, and sometimes you might want to hide these. You can easily, if I wanted to hide this ad, I can easily hide or report it, no problem. Um, typically, I don't like to do that. I like to give a response. Please, pass, okay, that's fine. Shoot, you know, just things like that because you know what? Each and every one of these comments is actually stimulating the algorithm to show this ad to more people at a cheaper cost. So I actually want comments to happen. If it's very negative or offensive, okay, I'm gonna hide or delete those comments. But in a lot of cases, I'm gonna let it roll because it's gonna trigger the algorithm to let more comments happen, which is why each and every one of these comments received the response from Blaze Boost. We wanna keep this ad going and get as much reach as possible. So that's one way that you can, well, that's how you can find the comment section to respond to those comments on your ads. You also can get notifications too, if you wanna check them that way. I personally like to limit the amount of notifications I get. So I try to not get notifications every time a comment is on one of the ads that I've created. I try to avoid that, but I will make a regular routine of when I go to optimize ads to go and check the comment section to delete, hide, respond to accordingly. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.